In the course of an average life, we spend between 20 and 25 years asleep. But scientists don't know why. This mystery has perplexed us since the beginning of time. Imagine this, spending one third of your life and not knowing why you do it and what its purpose is. Sleep is one of the greatest mysteries that science is struggling with. Now, as scientists develop the ability to look inside the sleeping brain, they may be on the brink of a remarkable discovery. It may be that the most important function of sleep is to allow us to dream. Different regions of the brain specialize in different kinds of thinking. By identifying the areas which are most active in REM, it may be possible to find out exactly how the brain is thinking when we dream. When the brain enters REM from deep sleep, it moves from almost total inactivity to a state of near frenzy. But throughout this burst of activity, one part of the brain stays soundly asleep. In REM sleep, most of the brain is as active as it is in waking, except the most evolutionarily advanced, the most sophisticated areas of the brain, the most frontal areas, which are right in here, where the most sophisticated uh, thinking is done. That's asleep during REM sleep. When these areas are not operating, thinking can be disjointed, bizarre, strange, disorganized, illogical, as it is in dreams. While the sophisticated brain sleeps, a more primitive region comes to life. The limbic system is frenetically active during REM sleep. It lies in a much older part of the brain, and it's responsible for our emotions. This means that when we enter the dream state, we return to a more primitive, less rational way of thinking. Our emotions take over. I dreamt I saw my son holding a dead baby. My sister suddenly appeared before me and she said to me, it's really happening this time, it's really happening, I need help. We remain unrestricted, wild and passionate love. I thought, but I know you and you're going to die, why are you going to die? Do we need to dream? What's it good for? Is it keeping us safely sane by allowing us to be crazy at night? The biology of every person, uh, that if we believe in the evolution of the species towards survival of the fittest, one has to think that it serves some kind of purpose. We might not know its purpose, we have lots of theories and ideas about its purpose, but it's hard to believe that it's just a random occurrence. When things are a lot quieter, we're not so busy with all of the visuals and hearing and everything during the day, the body, the dreaming mind can turn inward do a scan of the body, see what might be disturbed or in any kind of disordered condition, and then bring up imagery to reflect that at night. Hippocrates, the father of medicine, allegedly always asked his patients about their dreams because he felt he could tell from the dreams some important clues as to how they would be functioning physically and what might be wrong with them medically. <laughs> 